excuse the glare on my glasses. My office is kind of dark, so I had to turn on extra light. We are here in my office because I wanted to show off my new toy. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've likely, likely seen me post um, a few things that I have created with my new Voxelab um, Aquila 3D printer. It is a filament 3D printer and I grabbed it at a great price, $169, which I thought was almost too good to pass up as a new 3D printer um, wannabe. <laughs> uh, so the price now I believe is $199, which is still a great price, but I bought this. I bought a few rolls of filament, which I'll show you at another time, and I've been playing with it for like a week and learning the ropes. I have not yet designed anything myself. But I have um, visited Thingiverse and downloaded a few useful things and some fun things. So here we have Star Wars. <laughs> and these, this is the Voxelab branded filament and it is just, it's wonderful. Very, very high quality. Here we have Baby Yoda. And there was actually a little mishap while he was printing. So part of the bottom heart is gone, but I figured that um, the broken heart was <laughs> pretty accurate for uh, the show right now, if you watch. And then we have just a little sample. This was a file that came with the printer. This was the first thing I printed, um, just something saved on the micro SD card. And the quality is just top notch. It is so solid and it feels great and it looks great very few imperfections and then this is just a hook which i printed just to test my new uh filament from cc3d to see how i liked it so this is not going to be a full review just yet this is just like my first thoughts on the unit and what i will say is um the instructions could be a little bit better some of the text in the book was a little bit small so i did miss uh, a couple of things but I was lucky to find that they have a Facebook group so I popped into the Facebook group which is relatively new I think it was just set up in December posted my question posted a picture of the part that I was having trouble with and within five minutes someone had answered me and showed me a picture of his units which helped me figure out where to put it um, it's very easy to use it has this um, color screen which is controlled by this knob so you can do things like preheat your filament um, so that once you start printing, it's ready to go. You can preheat your bed. You can um, send it to auto home, which is useful for if you feel like you need to level the unit. And you can browse the uh, micro SD card, which goes in the unit here. So as I stated, I haven't learned everything yet. There are some other options in here that I haven't used. Oh, another useful thing is the um, auto load of the filament and then auto unload. So when you decide you want to switch from one color to another, you want to unload your filament. So that heats it up and backs it up out of the machine so you can remove your spool. Speaking of, do you see the color on this? I will post close-ups. But this is another CC3D branded filament that I purchased and I love it. And now I'm going to scoot and grab something else. look at this this is a file by someone else on Thingiverse I will post credit below but I printed this yesterday to hold all my Cricut markers and look at that look at the gold and like pinkish ombre so that came off of this same roll the roll has many colors on it and so the next step was from the pink to blue and it's going to keep going eventually so depending on how tall of something I'm printing it might make it to the next color um, so what I would suggest if you're looking into getting a 3d printer this one so far is awesome I had never touched one before with the exception of watching one print something um, when I visited Microsoft in Seattle several years ago so I started as a brand new user, knowing nothing. I assembled it all myself, which took me about an hour. Um, if I would have had an instructional video or something, it would have been a lot faster, but it wasn't too bad. 
everything was there, all parts, everything assembled fine. It was just that I missed that one part in the book that I had trouble with. Um, the leveling, that took a little bit of um, trial and error at the beginning, but now I have that down to a science. Basically, after you assemble, you want to level your bed to make sure that the nozzle, which is under here, is not going to be too far or too close to your print bed. Um, the way that they suggest you do that is using a piece of paper, but I have learned to just eyeball it now, and that's actually going pretty well. If you don't move your machine a lot or bother the bed a lot, um, you don't even have to play with that much, but I check it between prints because sometimes something sticks on the bed and you want to clean that off with acetone or alcohol that's more than I believe 90% um, and yeah so that touching might be enough to level to unlevel the bed so you use the wheels under here you just turn it a little bit until it's level all across front and back and you're ready to go I haven't had any problems with the unit itself at all I did have a problem with another brand of filament, which I can't remember the name right now, but I tried to use it to actually print what was supposed to be the yellow on the front of my Star Wars, and it wouldn't stick. It kept globbing up, and it just released and created a mess. So I tried that for one day, put it right back in the box, and sent it right back to Amazon, and got more of the CC3D brand that I love. Um, like I originally mentioned, the Voxelab brand is top notch, but they don't have the pretty shiny colors that I was looking for. So I have that and I have the CC3D. So I'm looking forward to showing you and telling you more about my uh, 3D printer experience. And I am looking forward to learning and hopefully going into my brain archives and remembering some of the AutoCAD lessons that I had a long, long, long time ago <laughs> that will help me uh, with the newer versions of CAD software to actually create something. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe.